Thanks for sticking with us, Mid Michigan. DeWitt School Board President Craig Kaler lost his month-long battle with COVID-19 on January 19th. It was a passing felt across the community. So many people, when they heard of Craig's illness and his passing, reached out um, on his phone, my phone, both computers, in person. Everything was just blowing up. What can we do? How can we help? So I've only known Craig for about eight months, but um, it's enough to know that he is an amazing man and a true servant leader. Kaler served on the board for more than a decade. He was always um, kind and loving to people that he met. He considered everybody as his friend. And I think that's what allowed him to experience joy and success in not only his work, but his volunteer and community service um, areas. His time on the board might have been a decade, but he's been serving the school district for a very, very long time. In his honor, his wife Linda and their family created the Kaler Foundation, which includes a scholarship. And when the idea for the foundation uh, came to me, I thought, why can't we foster his love of being a lifelong learner um, and take that on a broad scale and, and really put that out for kids? So when I think about what that could mean, it might be traveling exhibits that are brought to a school. It might be unique educational resources. And the scholarships that I envision would be more of character and community service type of scholarships. Well, we have a big, big hole to fill because of, of his loss. And it needs to be filled within 30 days of his passing. We posted the opening last week. We've had 17 applicants, so 17 people who are interested, which is um, a true testament of people who are wanting to c continue to serve. And also, um, it was nice to get condolences from most of those people, really understanding that these were big shoes to fill. The Kaler Foundation is collecting donations. Checks can be made out to the Kaler Foundation and mailed to the P.O. Box on your screen. After interviews of the 17 applicants are complete, the new school board members should take oath at the next school board meeting on February 14th. That wraps up the 7 for tonight, Mid-Michigan. As the roads are still being cleared, please drive safely and be sure to bundle up. Fox 47's Erica Murphy will be back with more Mid-Michigan news and your latest forecast coming up at 10. We'll see you then. <music>